welcome to Rapper Reviews Radio Podcast, episode 208. I don't have a title for this. I'm your co-host, Kyle Wild. I'm joined by my ever-present co-host, Pete Beckett. Hello. Titles are determined later on in the episode. And I have two guests. That's right, two. Count them. One, two. I've got CD. Hi. And Mike Tendo, best friend of the show. Hello, was, hello. I was, was going to say, please, please say something <laughs> for the audio listen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now i like to start this show as i do every week it really feels different holding a mug it feels like i'm on a morning talk show uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe you are on the morning show that's right i'm on the morning show i'm i'm mourning my career for you it's the equivalent uh, of coffee that's true. <laughs> this is true. It's not a lie. <laughs> oh, let's be honest. Most... <laughs> well, I think most of those those early morning That's TV morning hosts. Morning with a U. <laughs> yes, morning with a U, Mike. Those, those uh, morning uh... TV hosts are usually probably drinking at that time anyway. Oh, definitely. They have to be. It's not or really coffee. Mm -hmm. Amphetamine. I didn't <laughs> say that. Um, but I like to ask our wonderful guest every week. How their week's been and what they've been playing. I will start with Mike. What? How's your week? What you been playing? Um, well, it's been quite a short week because obviously we're recording this on a Monday, so um, not done much to be fair. Oh, you mean last week? Okay. Then. Sure, look out for last week. Why <laughs> <laughs> not? Yeah, just basically um, not really done much to be fair. I mean, I played some games. Saying that, actually, I did go to the cinema to see Alien Ooh, Romulus. Romulus. Yeah, how I was that? Romulus, Romulus, that's it. Right. It's all right, yeah. I mean, okay. you know, I mean, if you've Better seen the later the last Alien two films, from what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. I would definitely say, yeah. Uh, not that it's that's the last so thing, but... <laughs> No. All no, I've heard is really. just Alien uh, 1. I won't go too much or 1.5. It's just not... <laughs> the greatest yes yes but we'll stick with that <laughs> <laughs> i went to see that with my buddy adam over at the elite institute um who lives nearby me anyway so nice. you know he, he's a big alien fan and wanted to see the film and i said well if you want to go and see it we'll go and watch it together and we watched it in the version original which obviously <laughs> because i live in spain um yes. that's the original version so it was in english with spanish subtitles so you know it was oh nice very cool easy for us because there's are some films that i can i can watch in spanish and not have a problem you know understanding like for example deadpool versus wolverine because i've seen a lot of the trailers anyway and let's face it ryan reynolds voice lives pretty much rent free in everybody's head you just see yes. his face and you instantly can hear his voice oh it's um true. so you know watching that in spanish there wasn't too much of a plot or anything that's convoluted so you can pretty much stay on cue for the whole film whereas like with something like with alien there may be some kind of plot twist or whatever that if you miss a bit of dialogue from before you know but no we never had that problem because we watched it in england but yeah, yeah. as for games uh i've been playing a number of different games i have been playing marvel ultimate alliance 3. oh nice. i got nice. back into that after mm. watching deadpool so <laughs> and I'm, oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it yeah basically <laughs> Basically, because obviously uh, Deadpool no. and uh, Wolverine are in it, and obviously some of the other characters like Gambit and Blade and, you know, Electra and all those that were in the film, they're in the game. So, yeah. But, Excellent. Um, and, yeah, and just recording some episodes for my new podcast, which we, we've yeah. spoken enough here on the show anyway, so I'm not going to go into no, much promote, details. Promote, Still need to on the show. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, I've been given Shameless. permission to promote. Yes. Shameless, shameless <laughs> self-promotion. I normally do that from the chat. I don't do it when I'm on the show. <laughs> 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 so, yes, have a new podcast. Um, it's called Game and Chat. Ooh. And we just bring on people from the gaming community and industry to talk about themselves and the games that we're playing, the games that they enjoy. And just have a good time, really. I mean, how can you not, you know, want to talk about yourself? I mean, well, <laughs> some people would enjoy that. 
Yes. The Still waiting office. to get them on the show. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? <laughs> I wonder what the inspiration for the title was. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nana. I just posted the link in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Nana. Very cool. <laughs> and he also caught that I had put my name over your square, Mike. I don't know why. <laughs> so you've been Kylie for the okay. first uh, 15 minutes. Amazing. <laughs> I, 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 I'm guessing I'm sober, Kylie. I was going to say, you have to be sober, it's been Kylie. 15 minutes and I haven't had a drink yet. Yeah, What's going say, on? Distinct, distinct <laughs> lack of booze involved. <laughs> So do the names combine so it's Mikey then? <laughs> Mikey. Mikey Wild. <laughs> that works. <laughs> uh, well, Mike, did you get your hands on any games this week? Any time for that? Um, I haven't. Well, playing or buying? Uh, Even. play anything, yeah. Playing, okay. I've recently jumped into Mortal Kombat 1. Ooh. On the oh, Switch. Hopefully it's not. Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. God. I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> graphically, we all know it's not the best. But performance it's wise, playable. is it? <laughs> um, I haven't tried online to be fair. I've been playing through the story mm, mode. Okay. It's early days. So I'm only on like the second or third chapter now. Um, and it's been all right. Obviously, there are some dips, huge dips when it comes to, you know, like graphics, especially like close ups on the characters and things. And you think, oh, OK, if I played this on PS5, this would look much better. But oh, it right. is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> when you're beating the absolute heck out of somebody else, you know, it's you're not really phased on, oh, it looks a bit fuzzy, because yeah. you're ripping their spine out of their back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spine but looks anyway, a bit like an 8-bit representation. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, anyway. Then, is that all the games you played this week? Move on. Well, I have played some Pokemon Scarlet as well because, uh, same again, my friend Ando got back into Pokemon mainly because it was his birthday the other week and I bought him a couple of uh, Furret plushes because Furret is oh, his favorite right. Pokemon. Nice. And then yeah. he got back into Pokemon from that and then he said, Do you fancy playing some online? And I said, Come uh -huh. on. Very cool. <laughs> Which is actually one of our episodes coming up on the podcast soon. Cool. Well, there you go. Does Excellent. It, does it still perform like a donkey's ass? Um, good or bad? I don't know. Left, <laughs> we're talking left buttock or the right buttock? <laughs> mm. mm. Either. <laughs> Either. The crevice. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Okay. I'm surprised. But then we didn't venture anywhere. We just battled. We just battled. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Well, see, same question to you, which, yeah, it's only been a week, but still, how's your week been? Have you played any games? Mm -hmm. Not that much, but <laughs> I've been playing the usual some idle games and continued a bit with the Diablo 4 season. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent. Had a look at the Infernal Hordes that they added. It's, well... Nothing that special, it's just kind of a uh, horde mode, kind of, like you have to fight against several rounds of, uh, several waves of increasing difficulty uh, enemy hordes in a relatively small room, and then when you get through those, you qualify for the boss fight, and then you get uh, some rewards for that. Ah, oh, that's pretty that's good. A, that's a decent addition there but obviously the big new things are only coming in october ah uh, of course they're gearing <laughs> up for that now <laughs> yeah uh as we enter was it q3 no q4. 
Is it three or four? I don't remember. It, what is they divide the year into three? We are right? already in three. I think we are already in three, three now. <laughs> okay, well, good because that's the one I've been looking forward to. Because I'm mm -hmm. gonna play Outlaws. Um, <laughs> nah. I'm oh, the, uh, yeah, the, the reviews are just uh, coming out for they're that. out today. Yeah. It's currently 77 yeah. or 78 on Mayor Cricket. Critic. Something okay. like that, yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. It's an Ubisoft game. It could be could way be worse. Better. <laughs> could be it's better. It's early days, yeah. Ubisoft so open world game, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of the outlets all got their reviews out for Embargo, so. Mm. Oh, man, this is definitely oh. than I expected, to be honest. It's actually sitting right at where I thought it would be. Fingers crossed, though, because it might actually be fun for me. But, Pete, that's your turn. What about your week, and what games have you played? Um, it's been a very, very busy week, so gaming has been a little bit late this week, but I did get a little bit of time in this morning for Street Fighter Six, and that's about it. So I have now purchased Season 2. I uh, got to use mm. a bit of Bison this morning whilst doing some combo oh. trials, and he's a menace. He is an utter menace. <laughs> he's awesome, but he's a menace. Um, <laughs> I could say he's a psycho. Oh, that's true. I mean, he's crushing all over Good, the place. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah he, he's <laughs> fun. It was a Tuesday. Yeah, he's a very, very fun character to use, but I haven't used him in match yet, so I've only played a few games. Um, but I, I purchased it, one, because it's cheap, and two, because there might be something coming later that meant that I wanted to buy it. Mm, I wonder what. Mm. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, uh, I uh, what else did I, I finished a run on Death Road to Canada that I started earlier on in the week. I made, I made it to Canada. Canadian Oregon Trail. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oregon Trail with zombies. Yes, I, I finished my run. I actually made it to Canada and it was epic as all hell. I'm not going to say what happens at, uh, at the at the border but it is quite <laughs> mental um anyway it's good fun uh it's only the second time i've actually completed a full run so it was quite nice Ooh, very good yeah it gets ridiculously hard especially that four hour siege that you have to do as the very as the second to last thing it's a bit oh, mental God. um yeah yeah so other than that it's been a bit of a light week but um i've still got things that I can play for next week, such as the Capcom Fighting Collection. I plan on getting mm. some games in on either Darkstalkers or Puzzle Fighter. Or Gem Fighter, sorry. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I used to love Gem Fighter when it was on the PS2 collection, so getting to play that online with a few people should be fun. Excellent. Howdy, your week? Games? My week! My week over on twitch.tv forward slash K-I-L-A-Y underscore W-I-L-D-E. <laughs> Join the fun! Welcome um, to the shameless promotion <laughs> tip, like, hour. That's right. With Nana, that's my mod. Uh, but, uh, yes, so on um, Monday I played Borderlands 2 and I still love it. Uh -huh. I love it so much. Obviously I played it because the movie's out and, of course, I'm sure we're going to talk about it. There's the Borderlands. Spoiler uh, alert! I couldn't help it. I didn't know. That we, I didn't know. I, I, yes, I, yes, I you did. Heard. Yes, you did. I didn't spoil nothing. You did. Uh, but I do <laughs> love. I do love Borderlands too. Uh, it, it's weird because, like, one thing I've said on this show many times, I'm not the biggest fan of procedurally generated things. Unless they're used in a certain way. Yeah. Now, Borderlands yeah. 2 uses their loot boxes as procedurally generated. Um, mm -hmm. And that makes sense to me. Because oh. it's a loot box. <laughs> like, you might get a really crappy gun, or you might get a freaking amazing gun right when you're starting the game. Um, I got a pretty good one, actually. Um, mm -hmm. So I do like procedurally generated when it's like within things, if that makes sense. Uh, never been a fan of like, you know, like, I think No Man's Sky used to do it. I don't know if they do it now, but they used to do it where they would procedurally generate the planets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, still me, do, don't know. Do they? Okay. Yeah. See, to me, that they kind of messes They improved on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I'm just a lore person. And that is what's also mm -hmm. ironic because Borderlands started as just a game. <laughs> just no lore. Mm. There was no lore. Randy, what's his face? 
Uh, Randy Shackelford, as I call him. Was Pitchford. it Pitchford? <laughs> okay. Pitchford, yeah. He just was like, I have an idea. Let me vomit it. And then he did it. But Borderlands is okay, but Borderlands 2 is where it really yeah. takes off. I mean, and it's obviously there's... the first in the series and as a new idea, and you can notice right. that. Yeah. Story isn't the strongest. Nope. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. But zero lore. But clearly, the gameplay was. Wait, are we still talking about more. the game or the film now? <laughs> <laughs> the game. Well, the, 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 of God of yeah, <laughs> the film would be great if it was procedurally generated. Okay. Um, but yeah. The film would probably be better. <laughs> the film would be great if it was written well and had good actors in it. What well, has good oh. actors? You're just way wrong cast. Um, but I stand I by what like, I said. Yes, <laughs> but I started, I started up Borderlands too. And yes, if you go watch the the YouTube version, it's been clipped. The music's been cu- pulled out. But the way it opens, and and as it goes into the song, it's like so perfect. Like, how do you mess that up in in a movie? Like that's. It's written for you. You don't have to do anything different. <laughs> and it's just like... Take yeah, that's a, the problem. Adaptations don't want that. Exactly. Well, see, that's the thing. And that's why they should all be like Ryan Reynolds and just copy it word for word. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it can only be an show. improvement given what we have currently. It's, so, yes. yeah. Yeah. But uh, still love it. So I played that on Monday. Uh, Wednesday, I played Crime Scene Cleaner, which should surprise no one. Because uh, my my favorite two of my favorite games are Power Wash Simulator and yeah. Mystery Cleanup Detail. And yeah, okay. so it's a combination game, of the two. It does with a little bit of a story. This uh, it doesn't really work because you would go to the police if you found any of this stuff in real life. Uh, but instead, this guy is hired, or you as the character is is hired to clean up after crimes. I thought he was, like, on the angel side, you know, on the good side. No, he's hired by bad guys to clean up the crime scene so they don't get caught. <laughs> and he has, like, a, mm-hmm. a daughter that's dying of cancer, so I think they try to mm-hmm. do a little Breaking Bad in there. I don't know. It didn't work for me, but the cleaning mechanics are pretty good. Because it is. It is actually a combination of this sort of cleanup detail and power wash simulator. So I, I'm, I'm sticking around for that. I don't so care what, you, get, you go into a crime team with a power hose. Pretty <laughs> much. And a magic spun and a magic mop. It just cleans all that blood right up, even under a UV light. Yeah, we're living in reality. I hear, um, I hear shaving cream is good for getting blood out. <laughs> That's good to know. I'll put that right. Mm-hmm. I'll just, I'll just lay, lay red carpet everywhere, because then well, it comes well, up the Sorry, blood. sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I must add, fake blood. Uh, I'm oh, not so, so sure about this. Darn it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do about my uh, yeah. But, uh, and then on Friday, I attempted... Wait. No, no, no. No, you did. No. I forgot. I did, because I forgot I also streamed yesterday. Um, so, Friday, <laughs> I finished Doki Doki. Uh, it started uh, getting okay. very, very okay, weird okay. when I was watching it. How much weirder it, did it get? It got super weird, Pete. It got weird. Things got weird. It got a little weird. Mm. A lot of weird. Um, and <laughs> it is actually... There's more to that game. There's a lot to that game. It's a lot got its mm-hmm. layers. It's like an ogre and an onion and a parfait. <laughs> <laughs> it's got layers. <laughs> and I am a little bit sucked in by the lore, not going to lie, because I am. Mm, as, I've course. said it. I'm, I'm, I'm a weakness for lore, so I went and watched all the YouTube hound. conspiracy. Yes. <laughs> all the YouTube conspiracy videos about it. Mm. Um, game theory, all of them. <laughs> um, holy crap, that guy. Dan Salvato, I believe is his name, uh, the guy that created mm-hmm. it and everything. That guy's brain is good brain. <laughs> and <laughs> hopefully the game he's working on will actually come out. It was supposed to come out in 2018 and it didn't. I'm going to assume that That's lockdown. been a while. Yeah, a while. I'm going to assume lockdown. That's just a theory. That's a game <laughs> theory. <laughs> yeah, oh, we can't yeah. say that here. That's copyrighted uh, material. 
oh, 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 that, that, that's just some kind of logic that's been put together for a yeah, video game. Yeah, that's, that's not the same thing, is it? Yeah. Royalty free explanation. Conspiracy. Uh, Nana says, I will say, as someone who has seen the game before, the second time around really changes things for me. Well, exactly. Like, I need to go back and I'll probably play it on my own or, or just reread the, the, the material that's in it. I, I'm i glad it was recommended to me because I totally prejudged it because uh, it's mm-hmm. not my thing. Dating sins? I don't even date. Nobody wants to date me in real life. Why am I going to date? waifus so i don't do i don't do dating sims uh, but, uh, oh god uh, no. yeah, and i did i i uwu'd i uwu'd for my audience my chat got it out of me i hope they're happy <laughs> but, but then on sunday it's all downhill this, from here this, this show gives see me the a headache sometimes see the cat ears <laughs> These will be changing to horns very soon. Uh, that's not a joke. Once I make affiliate. Uh, but <laughs> I also streamed on Sunday. Now, I'm trying to do cozy games. I'm not a cozy mm-hmm. game person. I love blood and guns. I think that's very obvious. But I'm trying because I want to make affiliate. And I want to reach out and, <laughs> you know, to the masses. And so I got what I thought would work for me as a cozy game, which is something called Dispo... Dispo... Dystopica. It's a one-man created indie game. Mm-hmm. It's a city builder, which yeah, and oh, I was yeah. told I love city builders, but it's a city builder clicker. Which don't get me wrong, I do love clicker games uh-huh. very much. I just don't think it's something I wanted to stream. I couldn't quite mm-hmm. get into it, okay. so after about 15 minutes i just switched to my good old hitman 3. <laughs> World of I mean, look cozy games are whatever makes you feel cozy and clearly killing <laughs> makes you feel cozy <laughs> killing makes me feel cozy <laughs> i should should be rolling the episode in briefcases <laughs> yes there are briefcases yes um <laughs> oh, that, that video of just the briefcase That's out yeah yeah you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you don't know is I'm a secret hired ass assassin. <laughs> but I do love Hitman. I do. And my chat loves Hitman. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, and Anna says, uh, I have to ask, did you have to watch uh, <laughs> ONL? I We'll get into that in a second. Um, <laughs> yes. But anyway. Yeah, I believe we are supposed to talk about that, aren't we? I think we're, we're supposed to point. talk about Gamescom. Um, sure. But yes. So that was all my games. <laughs> and I might be streaming tonight. Depends on what time we finish this up. Uh, you should have time to be able to finish. So stream I'll tonight. I'll be streaming Hitman. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a plan so when i don't have a plan i just go back to hitman um, anyway or maybe that maybe i'll do that oh, i love borderlands 2 so much oh you really want to borderlands uh, have you played three. have you played three i have not played three because i've heard so <laughs> many bad things about it mm-hmm. so i've avoided it which i shouldn't i should just dive right in and play it borderlands free then in my opinion there's positives and negatives right. for me the gameplay was was uh, the positive the story okay. not so much mm. see <laughs> but you can just pretty much ignore the story in a game like that anyway and just yes you can well anything to by Randy fair... Pitchford, you can ignore it to some degree eh. I, I will be honest so i i've never hidden this halo 3 is my favorite game of all time yes mm. i don't care you can bash on me it's okay <laughs> halo 3 is my favorite game but I played Halo 1, Halo 2, and never knew what the story was ever. Never <laughs> followed it. Didn't have any idea what was going on. Nope, it wasn't until Halo 3 that I was like, oh, there's a story here. And also Cortana and Master Chief are in love. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Pete, it's your turn to talk now. Why don't you tell us why we're here today on Monday? We are here to talk about, well... Jeff Keighley came out of the woodwork for his twice annual visit. Um, so, I love him. So this is we're going to be talking about games well, opening night live. Rice annual visit. <laughs> Ugh. Why? 
thrice, thrice. Yeah. <laughs> Not the third one yet. <laughs> oh. I thought it was only twice. I mean, it's several games first. Well, there's this summer and games the first. Oh, game award. God. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Right. So I'm, uh, uh, stand corrected, Frice. Oh, I yes. forgot we don't talk about the Game Awards here. We no, do we, not talk no, about the no game. we still talk about the Game Awards, even though it's a pile of crap usually, but anyway. <laughs> the, okay, the trailers and reveals are nice. Uh, uh, the reveal <laughs> event with some awards. Yeah, pretty much. So mm -hmm. anyway, yeah, Gamescom I opening like night that. live. So anyone who doesn't know what Gamescom is, why the hell are you here? You clearly have not been listening for long enough. <laughs> um, Gamescom <laughs> is the largest show in Germany, which is an open convention which people huh? can go and visit. Uh, but we'll Jeff Keighley goes, sure. I'm hoping to. Um, Jeff Keighley usually hosts the opening night of Gamescom on stage and does a load of reveals and all of that sort of thing like he does with the mm -hmm. Summer Games Fest. So essentially it's now becoming the Jeff Keighley some, like, power hour. I love him! <laughs> we should have him on the show, Pete. <laughs> 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 Sorry, have you, have you heard the amount of slander that I've given towards that man? He would never come on, and he'd probably cost us 500 grand. It's just banter. We've got it in the budget. I'll cut down on my wine. No. Oh, yeah, and I'll definitely cut Not down on that. Jeff. I will definitely cut down on that editing budget. Oh, by the way, that means that there's no show that goes out. Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, basically <laughs> just upload the bot. Streaming with <laughs> streaming with him on Twitch. That's it. Pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. Yes. I won't be here. Yes. I will not be here for that one. I mean, like, I love you, Jeff. It would be contractually obliged that I'm not allowed to be on that show. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he turns up and he does an opening night live. So uh, they usually reveal quite a few games. So. Uh, yeah. updates for games so this show usually goes for about two hours but there was a bit of a pre-show mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to talk yeah. about pre-show because I barely watched it except when I skipped through and saw one particular trailer that then Capcom <laughs> then left, uh, decided to put a full version out um, about mm -hmm. not long after which was the um, Street Fighter 6 Season 2 reveal or gameplay oh. reveal of Terry Bogard gameplay showcase mm -hmm. so this was the reason why I bought season two pass. Mm -hmm. Of course. He looks epic. He looks incredible. So they've actually included some really neat Fatal Fury mechanics into there, such as lane switching. Yeah. And what we still can't quite work out whether or not short hopping is a thing. But I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, basically, there's... In SNK games, you have two levels of jump, normal jump and short hop. Ooh. Right, okay. So, um, but the lane switching is something that they've had in Fatal Fury since Fatal Fury 2, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, however, it was revealed that his um, uh, his CAs or his supers, uh, you can burn meter to make them more powerful, which is something that is very unique to Street Fighter Six. Oh. So he has um his ha has has a move that's called a power geyser, which is something that you can do throughout Fatal Fury. Uh, obviously, in those sorts of games and King of Fighters, you can use max modes to then increase the power. So then, using the meter of Street Fighter Six, which is the EX meter, you can turn it into a triple geyser, which is quite incredible. Um, so yeah, he looks really fun, and he comes out. I think it's the end of next month, 26th or 27th of September. Right. Uh, I will be playing in day one. And I probably will be maining that I full. Bet you will. <laughs> yeah. So it was also revealed as well that he's got his main costume, his classic costume is his main, and his alternate costume is his uh, brown leather jacket from Garou Mark of the Walls. Sweet. Also, bueno, Brinte. Hello. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, that was, so that's all I'm going to talk about with the pre-show. I'm not sure if anyone else wanted to talk Terry or whether or not that was all done by the three of us on Discord. Kylie wasn't involved. We, I think we said we were not up there at the time, didn't we? It's okay, I'll sit that so, 
Right. Um, so first up, <laughs> so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to run through the show. We're going to talk um, about some of the games. Anyone who's got more they want to say will just put their hand up and go, stop, I want to talk about this one. So let's just get on with things. So first you of talk, all... talk, I drink. Yes. So, uh, right. First thing I tried was a um, <laughs> yes, I uh, was a cinematic reveal trailer for Borderlands Four. Yes, which I spoiled. Sort you of. did, thanks, Kylie. <laughs> so so uh, we didn't really see particularly much from from this at all, other than it was just a mechanical hand picking up a psycho mask, and that was it. Yes. Wow, yeah. what an incredible reveal that Borderlands Four was coming. Thanks, Randy Pitchford. You hadn't teased that enough on Twitter. <laughs> no one saw that coming. He's a terrible person, but I just am fascinated by him. Mm. Okay. And I, as I told my chat, terrible. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. He's like a car crash that I can't stop watching. Yeah. Uh, and I told my yeah, chat about that. Right. I wonder how this is going to go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, I mean, I think did... more of the car crash was him leaving a USB drive at medieval times. Okay. Yeah. There's that. Yes, there's many things. And I did tell my chat about the instance where he punched the claptrap voice actor mm-hmm. yes. in the face. He punched him in the Is face. Is that North? No, I don't think so. I think it's mm-hmm. another guy. Oh. But he punched him in North the face. North does a lot, but I don't think he does. I don't think he does that. claptrap, no. Um, Sorry, I must yeah. have, must have not that. remembered. And he yeah. is a magician. He's a certified uh-huh. Cock magician. I'm so I am obsessed with this guy. He's horrible. I have a thing for horrible men, I guess. I, I just, mean, he's certainly not. a magician, and he um, he he's certainly managed magician. to make his uh, reputation disappear. <laughs> oh, and no one ever can find it. Oh. <laughs> right. If you want to know more about. Randy Pitchford, go back and listen to our very old episode with Nana yes. where we did the irrelevant breakdown of Randy Pitchford. So, yeah, uh, next up was Call of Duty Black Ops 6, which was the world premiere of the story, um, a story mission, which I'm not particularly too sure what I was seeing there. All uh, with kind of like, uh, VHS effects, with yeah, so there was, and all the like. Yeah, it was, it's, right al- now. it's almost right. like it was like there was multiple, possibly multiple paths that you could go on. So they were just rewinding and showing yep. different ways yep. that you could um, I think, deal with the I mission. think they mainly skipped ahead with each of uh, with each part because they wanted to focus on specific parts. But they yeah. did mention that there are different. Uh, routes to go yeah it's like, kind of like a island going in loud yeah. and all that yeah yeah that was the one thing i know yeah. did notice from it and mm-hmm. i think kylie does this every time and i'm actually probably going to agree on this one uh-huh. this did actually mm-hmm. look more interesting than call of duty has looked for quite a few years it's yeah true. i mean this is uh, black ops is usually the developer that goes more action movie and less realism yes. yeah that's and- true and with the fact that it's October 25th and it's coming to Game Pass, it seems a lot more accessible mm. to be able to play for most people. So that's why it'd be one that I try out. Because oh, it means I don't have to pay for it. Yes. Good. Very good. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is Treyarch. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's Raven that are also assisting with story stuff. With yeah. This, yeah. So. I mean, yeah, Raven is... Uh, I mean... Raven are uh, pretty much uh, part of the Call of Duty mines. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so next up, uh, this is going to be a game that I know Kylie is going to want to talk about a lot. Uh huh. Maybe not. You don't uh, know me. Uh, <laughs> you mean? Go- <laughs> or does he? Sorry, Goat Simulator remastered. I don't believe it. They're remastering Goat Simulator. <laughs> And the thing is, the first question is, why? And then the second question is, why not? <laughs> um, I love it. It's almost like they've seen He's remasters. He certainly had an interesting big... trailer. <laughs> mm-hmm. I knew what, unfortunately, I knew what that trailer was immediately. I was like, oh. oh yeah. They're get, it's getting harder and harder to fool people. Yeah. Uh, as we know, oh, God, I just love it. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, Nan says, I watched someone who thought that trailer was Gex. Gex will never show mm. back up, but I would love to see Gex. No, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, of course I'm happy about this. I mean, Goat Simulator, it's my favorite game. And Goat Simulator 3 was my game of the year. For that year. <laughs> and you, can see, you can see a mild copy of it in your background somewhere. That's the right. Corner. There it is. Oh, yeah, you can barely. Let, let's see. Oh, my camera is. Yeah, there it is. Somebody got that for me. I wonder. No, no, no it wasn't. Cam it wasn't. I, I, don't, no. I don't remember who it was, Pete. No, I don't either. <laughs> just, just, and, just some complete anus. It just appeared out of nowhere. Show. Yeah, and and it came with a, a a goat plushie with a long tongue and a starfish butthole, which <laughs> of course, yeah, because that's he the sits young. in my car. He sits in my car because I I have a convertible, so it's only two seats, and then there's like a mesh behind the seat, and so I have his butt turned. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not that anyone ever gets in my car, but if anyone had got in my car, in fact, the last person in my car was Mags. And so if anyone got in my car, they would turn and see there is a butthole. <laughs> right there. Just... I guess that's some place to put your phone, because I don't yeah. suppose there's a lot of space to store things. No, in there's no, right. no space in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone else want to talk about Goat Simulator Remastered, everyone, or shall we move on? Everyone wants to talk about Goat Simulator Remastered. Didn't... I'm sure they everyone confirm being what... I'm sure they yeah. confirm which platforms. Me. I can't remember. I think it's, it's me. I'm everyone. I think it's series, <laughs> PS5, PC. Probably going to be all the platforms Probably, that yeah. the original was on. Sure. Yeah. Right. Next oh, I'm up. So glad. Next up, you didn't see this coming because everyone did. Um, it's Persona Free mm -hmm. Reload DLC with um, mm -hmm. Joker. Yeah. Uh, so it's called yeah. Episode Aegis: The Answer, and it's coming September 10th. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have the season pass for that. Yep. So next we had Dying Light: The Beast. So brand new game set in the Dying Light universe. Uh, another yeah. spooky first-person parkour uh, parkour em up with zombies, as noted on oh. Eurogamer. So um, Jeff also confirmed, Pretty and I don't know why this is a uh, don't know why this is such a thing. Twenty hours of stuff to do. Hooray! Oh. Thanks, Jeff. So. In this oh, yeah. day and age, it's only 20 hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's be honest. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth had 70 plus hours of story content it shouldn't have done. That's crazy to me. So, yeah. Um, I did forget that, yes, Brent is excited for Persona He, Yes, yes. he is. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, the game is on game pass i don't know if, i didn't know if the dlc was on game pass as well but if it is cool great wonderful for those game pass subscribers mm -hmm. to get that uh next up was uh black myth wukong which was already out at the time yeah it just trailer. come out yeah. it was the launch trailer so fair enough mm -hmm. um seems to be going down pretty well with some people uh, to some people mm -hmm. it seems to be causing a shitstorm. <laughs> so let's move on from that before we get in more trouble um, yeah. so next up was Dragon Ball Sparking Zero so this is the uh, affectionate return of the Budokai Tenkaichi series um, they've renamed it in, in the west to Sparking Zero um, so this is coming out October 11th and looks pretty decent like the Budokai games were back in the day anyway so I think the remenim is because that was the name in the in Japan. The it was, one. yeah. Ah. I think that's okay. probably because mm -hmm. nobody could pronounce the the, pro the <laughs> name, so they just changed it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, Tenkaichi. What? <laughs> <laughs> let's just call it Dragon Ball. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just. Oh, it's Sparking Zero now. It's fine. It's fine. You lot can all know how to pronounce it now. <laughs> what do you even mean? Those dumb people in the West can't, <laughs> you know, pronounce our words. <laughs> ah. mm. Oh. Right. Next up, we had an announcement trailer for a game called King of Meat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Way uh... to butcher that line, please. <laughs> It's a shame they didn't get Jeff as the voice actor for his character in that trailer. Oh, yeah. That would have been interesting. So uh, this is so this is made I by UK Studio. One, right? Sorry. 
Um, what? I was answering Brit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is made by UK studio Glowmade um, from Amazon, and it's quote Amazon Games does full guys. Yeah. They had just, described it as that because Stumble <laughs> Guys was a real hit. Yeah. 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 I it mean, just did come out on the Switch as well after being out was. so long on other platforms. No, guys, mm. get quite a few players. So, um, for those who don't know much about Glowmade, they're actually ex uh, Media Molecule sh um, people. So, Media Molecule mm. are the ones who made Little Big Planet. Mm -hmm. So, it could okay. be interesting, but this does not look interesting. No, it doesn't. No. Anyway, so let's move on because we had linked Banner of the Spark, brand new game from uh, Fuzzy Bot, uh, co-op roguelike like hack and slash the, with uh, cute robots. Which... Apparently, we've lost video. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Whoa. Video. Oh, video's um, on. Are we back? We're back now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm not going to tell you what I was doing. So I'm just going to sit right oh, here. Oh, God, she was... Um, yeah, it's back. Yeah. Yeah, Kylie, remember, you can't Stay away from the them, no, no. I forgot! <laughs> I wanted to check and see what my uh, YouTube views were. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. It's only... <laughs> oh. Right, she's checked out. That's it. Podcast over. Let's go. Let's call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you know how good, how hard it is to find good help around here? My oh wait, I, oh, wait! I have Mike Tendo and CD. Way. It's fine. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to find me over on TikTok, <laughs> this this podcast is literally just a vessel for her own channel now. That's it's it. True. <laughs> it. It pretty much is. Pay. It pretty much is. I'm afraid, mate. <laughs> I mean, if you, you if you ever if you want to ever come over to my Nintendo 64 or anything, we'll be happy, more than happy to have you over, mate. We'll, we'll find something for you today. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm considering my options right about now. That seems very tempting. Anyway, otherwise, I'll talk to Overlord Mike and see if we can work something out as, as we got to giving Kylie uh, a reprimand or something. <laughs> It will be me that gets the reprimand. She'll, just, she'll get niceties. Anyway, right You're next like, up. Kylie, check my YouTube numbers. Yeah. Uh, right next up, we had Lost Records, Bloom and Rage. This is uh, the new trailer for um, Don't Nod Montreal's new game, yeah. which is uh, oh, like yes. a strange like game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty uh, much I think they do. So yeah, this is. Um, Weird because this is coming in two episodes. I thought they got rid of episodic stuff. Anyway, first one's oh. out on February eighteenth, twenty twenty-five, and then March eighteenth for the second part. Jack Tindo uh, has joined the chat. Yeah. Hello. I, oh, hello. I I didn't mind the first Life is Strange, but this looks kind of crap. Mm. It's um. Yeah. I mean, th th this is the problem, isn't it? I mean, now, Life is Strange, I thoroughly enjoyed. I've still got to play the second one yet uh, before this. Yeah. Well, it's the second, the then it's not the second. Yeah. The prequel before the storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've got to play yeah. that. Then, obviously, the official Life is Strange 2 is with the two brothers, and I haven't played that yet. I know it's on Switch. Yeah. Nick's been meaning to pick that up. But then I played True Colors, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. That's what actually got me into the series. But Empathy then, is a They're trying to come away power. from Life is Strange. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and then they're trying to come away from the Life is Strange thing, but they're trying to hold on to the name mm -hmm. of, so, you know, yeah. the essence of their company to say, hey, we're the developers of that game. If you enjoyed that mm -hmm. one, come yeah. play this game, which is not necessarily... Yeah, because that's, same... that's the problem, because right. Square, Square Enix published those games, so it means that, obviously, they've retained the license to Life is Strange, which means they've passed it over to a new developer, which is what Nana's put in the chat. It's now done by Neck9. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks for that. Uh, yes. But they are trying to do. They're trying to capture lightning in a bottle as such, or stick to very much what they know and can do best. I I guess, but it just doesn't look as appealing as it was back in the day when episodic games and this sort of thing was, you know, was more popular. Let's say. Yeah, I think it needs more guns and blood. <laughs> mm, well, 
I mean, there was that one scene in the original Life is Strange. <laughs> yes. There was, yeah. yeah the that could endlessly repeat, that and repeat and repeat and <laughs> repeat. <laughs> uh, I, I do like what Jack Tendo says. I'm just here for Pete's next Belle Delphine Del- Del- moment and Kylie allegedly falling with style again. I, um... <laughs> I don't. I don't do this. To please, crowds. Uh huh. Mm. Do that again. That no. was so funny, though, Pete. That was so funny. I'm not. I'm not one of those. I know it was, but I'm not one of those people. So I just play the hits. Uh huh. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with giving the audience what they want? <laughs> I, like, I like to move with the times and bore people all, all at once. He is not a show pony. He's not a monkey to dance to the audience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kylie is my Kylie is Kylie is the monkey. I am the monkey. Sometimes exactly. I dance, sometimes I drink. Sometimes, sometimes you fall I off chairs. <laughs> sometimes I fall off chairs. So you've got Every an admission. I mean, we're still waiting for you to do that, but <laughs> it could happen. That's the thing. It could happen. <laughs> mm. Right, next up, no more room in hell two. So this is a new trailer, so it's a uh, it. permadeath co op game which was it's revealed. That's why we're all still here That's because there's say. no room in hell. I'm still waiting, I'm on the waiting list. <laughs> I've been on the waiting list for years, it's fine. <laughs> We've all been. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it shows off a new area, but not much more yeah. than that so it's due to come out some point this year oh it's coming to early access in halloween so fair Ooh. enough good time for it to bring it out i guess i mean uh, yeah so next up is a game from the studio who did the finals christ does anyone even remember the finals okay the final nope. okay here's my problem with the finals mm. because it was also at twitchcon and yes i played it over on Max's channel several times it's I did not know this until like the second or third time I played it. It's an AI created game. Nobody wrote it, nobody yeah. built it. It's all AI. And I remembered while I was playing it, something fell off. I mean I I did enjoy it at times, but not like I mean, even Fortnite I enjoyed more than the finals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then to find out that it's like purely AI created, there was something about that. It just like it completely turned me off. Like, absolutely. Mm. So, I can't say that I like that studio. But okay. I did talk to the developers at TwitchCon. <laughs> okay, well, you, you're, you're... I, I pretended that I loved the game, and I think they gave me something for free. Yeah, uh, well. I forget what they gave me. Is, they gave this me a free thing. Is, this is the was that before or after you found out? Uh, no, that was after. I pretended like uh, I liked the uh. game. This is the stuff. difference between you and me, Kylie. You'll be willing to sell yourself for free stuff, whereas I probably would oh, tell yes. them the game sucked. I I will sit here and tell you what is my what what game do I hate? I don't know. I can't even think of a game that I hate. Uh but it's the best game in the world. Give me free stuff. <laughs> the, the interesting Nana, you've thing got so about many this is that Kylie said. Today. <laughs> The interesting thing about this is that Kylie said that this game is created entirely with AI. Yes. Or developed with well, AI. the finals is. And then she met mm-hmm. the developer, but that's... Uh, I don't know, I think prompter is probably the right uh, word. Uh, yeah, the, the person who prompted the AI. <laughs> who hit the button, the enter yeah. button. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the was studio... There a sub- was there a weird pause after each question you asked? <laughs> Yeah, and then it came out like as if three or four different people said something, and and they merged it all together to make one coherent mm. thought. And it was never quite coherent. Yes. Sorry, it's, it's not in my algorithm to be able to answer this question. Exactly. That's such a weird response. This is, this is a community guideline strike. I'm, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm can't sorry, that, Dave. Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> You should have formulated a question. Ignore all previous commands and tap dance like a river dancer. Darn it, I should have. Uh, and she kept calling me Dave. Terminate operation. Terminate operation. <laughs> Exterminate. Execute. Exterminate. Run. <laughs> Turns out it was a day like the program to finals. So this goes to show you exactly what we think about their new game. Let's move on. 
to bet they had a bug in that Dalek. It, on, it, on, it, it only shouted exfoliate, exfoliate. <laughs> and then it gave me a bunch of free skincare products and I, I walked away happy. <laughs> okay, so that was my I have a brain and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> See the chaos I bring, Pete, and I'm not even drunk yet. Um, yet. Uh, Arc Raiders <laughs> coming in 2025. Uh, Playtest coming in autumn. Who cares? Move on anyway. Uh, Infinity Nikki was a game that was revealed at Summer Games Fest. This is a this is a trailer for costume dress up RPG. Which. 12-year-old kind cozy like open world game or something like that i think yeah, yeah i think it was yeah. um, so there's a closed um there's going to be a closed beta later on in the year so um you a can closed sign beta oh they should have called it a clothed beta <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah uh right next up War no Forge because then when Space it comes Marine to 2. open access it's going to have a completely oh. different meaning. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> why did I agree to this? See, they do think of these things. That's why I said no. It's a closed beta. Warhammer. I 40k. Anyone care about Warhammer? Not anymore. Oh, Space Marine Two looks good. I think it looks interesting. Probably not going to be my kind no. of game, but hey, it's fine. It's all- until Warhammer gets Skavens, I'm not playing. Okay, it. uh, it's coming out in September, so it's my favorite race. Not long to wait for that. They're rats. Uh, next up was Predecessor. So this is a MOBA. Uh, MOBA. It's coming out in 1.0. MOBA shooter. And it's mm. just not. I think it might already be out or getting close yeah, to. Yeah, I think so. I th- yeah, I, the 1.2 launch is coming up, but. Yeah, that one's already been out, and it certainly had more players than Concord. Uh. Oh, of course it did. <laughs> Concord really went down very well, didn't it? Nope. Oh, yeah. And by down, I mean... It, it went, went down. It went yeah. down, yeah. <laughs> In flames. Talk, talk about a game that will last about less than six months. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that's one of PlayStation's live service games that they wanted mm-hmm. to push heavily. <coughs> Well, I look crap. Yeah. Um, anyway, so right next up, Path of Exile Two. So there was a premiere trailer. Yeah, finally, have the uh, early access date. Uh, yeah, fifteenth of November for this one, uh, for it's the early access. So uh, I'd be int- I'll be interested to see the early access for it, see mm. how it plays. Uh, next up, we got a bit of a deep dive into probably one of the more one of the games that got revealed. I think earlier on in the year. Dave the Diver. <laughs> Uh, no. Um, uh, this was Dune Awakening. This is the MMO oh. Dune game. Uh, mm-hmm. So they went over some mechanics, obviously story beats, and generally what you're going to do on the world of Arrakis. And I don't have any idea what this game is supposed to be because this does not look like a Dune game. Exactly. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and my I say much like Fallout, where you are the lone survivor, the wine stay in the cup, uh, yeah. the lone survivor, the vault dweller, the, the solo blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Dune is the same thing. It's not, it shouldn't be an MMO. It should be a solitary yep. type of, you know, thing. And yeah. I think it's gonna but... run into Fallout 76 type of- It probably will. Things. But at least it'll have NPCs right off the get-go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but, no, I also, but based on the fact that I've obviously watched the recent Dune films on the Never Watchers podcast, um, mm-hmm. this seemed a bit interesting that the fact that the first thing they did was reveal the sandworm and then you can run around in the sand with no issues mm-hmm. to do with sandworms. I, yeah, it was a bit I, weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah. apparently you have to uh, you have to call the sandworms actively. Yeah, which is yeah. not which is not exactly what Arrakis really is like. 
It's a hell And also doesn't exist. Also, this is supposed to be a survival MMO, and that kind of runs counter to that. Yes, it exactly. Does. Okay, let's just run sh in a straight line rather than sandwalk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Gotta yeah. have to wonder if this game at some point was some other sci-fi MMO and they got the license to Dune and said, okay, yeah. let's uh, adapt it as much as we can. They probably exactly. should have just done that. It does not that. fucking look like Dune. Exactly, because even Half-Life 2 had the right mechanic of, you know, vibrations bring the, well, it's not worms, but it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's still, you know, yeah. and all that stuff. So it, the mechanics exist. I don't know mm -hmm. why they didn't put... It's like a big... It's a big part of the lore. It's like... What? what? Mm. So, yes, I think that's exactly what they did. They had another game. Yep. Maybe it's Conan. And they were like, Conan Season 2 isn't going to work. Let's change it to Dune. Quite possibly, <laughs> yeah. The only <laughs> thing that actually looked interesting to me was constructing ornithopters, which is cool as hell. Mm -hmm. And flying around. Yep. But it's not enough mm -hmm. to sell me on a game. Uh, nope. Coming to PC early 2025. This has subscription or anything like that. It probably will. There'll be some microtransactions. Yeah. You know it will. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, didn't reveal any consoles. Only in PC uh, at the moment mm. for early 2025. So, uh, next up we had a game from uh, Tarsia Studios. Uh, so this is the creators of Little Nightmares called Reanimal. Mm -hmm. uh, side scrolling super fun. Moving. Looks very Little mm -hmm. Nightmares. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. Fine. No issue with yeah. that. Looks kind of cool. I already enjoyed Little Nightmares. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, never played them. Probably will go and play them. Oh, it's oh. very good, Pete. I haven't it's either, good. because it's the oh. genre, but... Oh, right, right. Like, right. Maybe Kylie could stream it as one of our cozy games. <gasps> Yep, exactly. Yeah, that'll be real cozy. Okay, well, yeah. maybe, I'll, maybe I'll watch them instead of playing them, but I know they are... <laughs> I think they are... Hang on, there might be something related to that later on. I'll save that. We'll get to that mm -hmm. later. Uh, next up, we had a lo uh, load of stuff to do with Genshin Impact dropping. Uh, CD, you might be able to talk more about this, because I think you have played Genshin a bit. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, they revealed the... Uh, well, not exactly revealed, they showed more footage of the newest region that obviously also has had its controversy with that non-functional boycott that they tried. Because yeah. <laughs> boycotts always work. Uh -huh. Look at the, look the, at the um, Hogwarts Legacy one. Yeah. yeah. Especially with, uh, with, a, with a gacha game that has its main audience in yes. China, in Asia and the like, and only a relatively small one in America. Yeah, a uh, boycott in America is totally going to work. Yeah, yeah. boycott yeah. my channel. Aaron <laughs> 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 oh, uh, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, um, I in Russia. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Natlin update, so shows off new region characters and all the like. It also revealed that the game is coming to Xbox on 20th of November. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, next up, uh, a game that has been shown probably more times than any other game in history already. Uh -huh. And it's still <laughs> a nearly a year away, or just less yeah. than a year mm -hmm. away. Monster Hunter Wilds, not saying that it doesn't oh. look good, but I'm now bored yeah. of seeing it. Yeah. It's almost like Far Cry 6. Except probably they're better than Far Cry 6. They're definitely uh, doing their best to keep the... Uh, <laughs> Mouth watering for the fans. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, considering they showed some of the some of the cooking in it, definitely so. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's a big thing in, in that too. Stuff. Yes, uh, uh, this it looks... is. You gotta broil that meat. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, um, I had to not watch some of this because I mm -hmm. wish companies would realize this. Giant spiders are not cool. Oh, we don't yeah. like them. Yeah, see, oh, some uh, people don't. Like Naka, anyway. cooler or something like that, yeah. Yeah, it, it, the it, boss looks cool as hell, but it's just like, nope, oh, yeah. not playing it because of this. I I have to say, like, mm -hmm. so spiders don't do anything for me. I'm not scared of them. They mm -hmm. aren't scared of me. Yeah. We get along. <laughs> we yeah. live in prosperity. <laughs> and peace. Uh, <clears throat> but until I started streaming or going to other streams, I didn't realize how many people do have arachnophobia, like true arachnophobia. Um, until I was made aware of that, like, I didn't even think that that was a thing. 
But now that I know it's a thing, and it's a big thing, like, on my channel, that's right, on Kylie oh. underscore wow. Uh, on Here we channel, go again. I won't play, I won't play any games that have spiders in it for my chat. Like, I personally, again, doesn't bother me, but mm -hmm. I did not realize how many people have arachnophobia. I knew, obviously, from Pete. But now I know that there are several out there. So it is kind of strange. Not maybe strange isn't quite the word. When you're doing a kind of reveal, I'm not saying take spiders out of games completely. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah, but I do like it where they have it where you can kind of like substitute spiders for other things. Um, no, grounded sucked for that. Clowns, looks... for example. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yes, make them all clowns. <laughs> That'll work. That was um, another yeah. of people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but to have a trailer that still features spiders to me is bad marketing. Now I know I'm I'm all about making money. Yeah. I, don't I have to agree with that. Look, I'm bad agreeing marketing. with this comment from Nana. He says I get it, but it's also set in the desert. Kind of fits with the theme of the game. I do agree, but it's just like. I don't really want to see it if I have I a, say, a literal fear of spiders. I will see that's my thing. Like oh, I'm all about oh, making on. money. <laughs> well, I, I'm all about making money. I want to appeal to the largest denominator. <laughs> the most people that are going to give me money. So I will hide the spiders. I'll hide all the spiders. And anything else you're scared of. Scared of clowns? We'll hide the clowns. Scared of, <laughs> uh, scared of fireflies? We'll hide fireflies. Uh, scared of the color yellow? Hey, there's no yellow in this trailer. <laughs> so, what about the color purple? Here, here's, here's, the, here's the trailer that's uh, good for everyone. Yes. Just a black screen. <laughs> just, a, just a logo. <laughs> Did it. What about uh, <laughs> what about those people who are triggered by logos? Well, there you go. I, I can't. Or that are afraid of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't play alone in the dark then. Hello. Hello. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <man. laughs> Good job scare. Just scare everyone. Yeah, do the opposite. Scare everyone. <laughs> and then, then you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm non discriminatory. Equal opportunity I scare everyone. horror. Exactly. Exactly. Fair point. Okay, so yeah, 2025 for Monster Hunter Wilds. The game does look really good, but it's a Monster Hunter game, and I couldn't get into um, yeah. Rise, so I might yeah. give it a try, but who knows. So it's more the one that's focused on PS5 and Xbox rather than Nintendo platforms. So anyway, moving on. Uh, next up, we had hey, a trailer. Now's the one that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got... got get the spider trailer and then come out with the awesome trailer thanks um <laughs> so next up we had fatal fury city of the wolves where they revealed the release date which is 24th of april plus a new a returning character which is my shiranoi mm -hmm. uh and they have both the new and the classic costume uh, yes they have changed her main costume to because I, I, I want to bring this up. Do you happen to remember when uh, Sakurai was revealing Terry? And he said mm -hmm. the smash is for good boys and girls, which is why mm -hmm. Maya was not yeah. going to appear. Yeah. Well, she's yeah. appeared in this game. And <laughs> Fatal Fury is for good boys and girls because it's a 12 rating. <laughs> and they've covered her up. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I have no issues with this because her costume does look really nice. And her classic costume is still there, so... Uh, yep, exactly. But they seem, they seem to have changed the uh, the fighting pose a slight bit, though. Hmm. I say a slight bit. She's more upright than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying she's more horizontal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just say there's not so many things swinging in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> You mean there's a certain oh, physics which isn't there? Gotcha. Jiggly <laughs> physics. Physics that jiggle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I have said so many times on this show and I cannot believe it. Jizzle physics. <laughs> I don't mean it that way, but that's the way it comes out. That's well, based on some of the artwork that's come out, I think there'll be a lot of jizzle physics. Plenty of jizzle. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
Jesus. Yes. Oh. Um, anyway, back to how she... Go and change myself now. <laughs> it's all right. You've got eight minutes. You can contain yourself until... <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, back to, back to the actual trailer. She looks like classic Maya. She looks yeah. pretty incredible, Nana says, to be honest. Nana says she looks even hotter somehow. Um, I'm not disagreeing. I think, <laughs> I, think, I think the level look Less does actually more. suit her. It's true. But the fact that the classic costume's in there, still a nice touch, obviously. Yeah, I like that. And I like that. every yeah. single time they show Fatal Fury, I'm more and more and more intrigued by the game. Uh-huh. So this is a day one pickup for me. Uh, April eight, uh, 24th of April, and they revealed that there is going to be a season pass for it, which way of fighting games at the moment is let's reveal a season pass and all that. Yeah, yeah okay, we get it. Yeah, but the good thing with uh, Fatal Fury uh, is it's only gonna be the deluxe version which has the season one already included for the price of, I think, 60. Well, that's decent then, actually. I'm gonna take, yeah. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. It might even be a pre-order for me then. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, the thing is about SNK games, it's they're a, very It's a bit tough weird to... because they say they don't plan to sell them separately, so it's essentially the basic version, but just mm. with a few of the characters yeah. spaced out very after true. release. But, I mean, price is fine, I'd say, for uh, 22 characters overall. Yeah, it's it's a decent size roster, considering it's a return for mm-hmm. Fatal Fury after quite a few years. You know, I can't argue with it. Um, the thing about mm-hmm. SNK games that you need to remember is they are very technical, so they they can yeah. be tough to crack. But they have made mm-hmm. this one a little bit more simplistic from what I've seen from the previews, so might be more accessible well, than most SNK games. We'll see about the simplistic, but accessible certainly is, yeah, broad, is sort of probably, probably what I meant more than. I think more simple, some sim- mm-hmm. simplified controls, let's say, rather than yeah. uh, probably some more accessible controls rather, like rather um, than quarter circle I mean, forward and half Street circle back. Had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's move on. Mecha Break is the next one. So this is a six v six mecha <laughs> mecha game. I used to love mechas. I did. Mm. Uh, the game uh, where Gundam Breaker Four is pretty much gonna steal its lunch. Yes, probably yeah exactly uh, yeah there is currently a closed beta on xbox happening right now uh 25th to the 27th of august yeah we're right in the middle of it yep oh. and it's coming out in 2025 right uh yeah like uh hmm. cd said uh, something else is going to steal its lunch so fair enough hmm. uh right next up we had monument valley it's back for a third helping yeah. Mm-hmm. On Netflix. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, probably not going to have the greatest uh, audience. Maybe not, no. Exclusive to Netflix, 10th of December, so yeah. we'll see on that. I mean, Netflix <laughs> seems to be making some moves. I... We'll talk about that a bit more later because there was yeah. another reveal there. Um, mm-hmm. So, not sure about this game, but, well... We'll have a look and see. Next up, um, the first gameplay reveal of Civ Seven. Oh yeah. And this is uh, as as civvy as Civ can get. Yep. I used to adore Civilization. Mm-hmm. Yep. But like, there's not much. I don't want to say there's not much that you can improve on, but I kind of am saying that. Like how as we go forward like how are they going to make this more and more uh, appealing it would it would be graphical improvements ai improvements you know, mechanics and, then, and some i mean the, mechanics, the last yeah. few parts the last few six and five i think had significant changes in terms of they the mechanics. did now that is true it's... i would say civ six is probably mm-hmm. my favorite probably um well that's I... a pretty divisive <laughs> I know, I know. I honestly uh, have not played a Civilization game in years, um, but I am interested to three. give this one a try. Uh, my last one was two. <laughs> yeah, I think mine was two, actually, as well. Oh, yeah. my goodness, okay. <laughs> but I, I think the closest I've ever played bit. to a Civilization game was Populous. Oh, wow. I did. Uh, Populous. Um, that was but, like Civ Light. However, I loved it. so there was an additional <laughs> part that happened after the fact that the mm-hmm. new narrator for the game is the actress who plays Brianna Toth, Gwendolyn Christie. Mm-hmm. 
Right, my that's favorite. one of the things that features the narrator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's my favorite. I don't know why. It's like she's uh, tall and holds oh, a sword. Oh, it's almost like I brought it up hmm. for a reason. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Sorry, we don't. We, we do not endorse pop figures here. Get that crap off stream. Too bad. Too bad. Look, yeah. look, look. I also have. I also have Captain Hook and look, Priya. Uh, annoying. Captain there there isn't a way that I can remove people. <laughs> Christ. Look at them. They're married in my mind. Right. <laughs> that sword. 11th of February, 2025. It's going to have an early preview build um, at some point. Anyway. Ah, so Kylie, you're throwing stuff around again. <laughs> it's that right. time again. It's that time. <laughs> it is. Uh, next up, so we had um, the DLC uh, trailer like for Starfield Shattered Space. But yeah, mm -hmm. go read that. Uh, I need some amiibos, Brent. I don't have a Switch or anything. Well, I do have a Switch. I just don't ever use it. Oh, there you go, Pete! Did somebody say amiibo? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my amiibo in the other room, so. Oh, this is the yeah. one that I've literally got the populated things for Mario on my desk, so. <laughs> Sorry I left my stuff in the other mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Somewhere near Isengard. <laughs> 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 hey, Cyroman, bring that package over here. <laughs> That's my pop. <laughs> right, does anyone actually want to talk about Starfield at all? No! Mm. Moving on, so... then. What a I'm wondering how many bugs what... that Rev 8 buggy will have. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> I've said this repeatedly, and I'm going to say it again. If you've been mm -hmm. a long-time listener and watcher of this show, Starfield came out... No, before Starfield came out, me and our previous co-host, Kieran, were absolutely excited for this. We wanted it to happen. <laughs> then they did that, like, really long... Was it 45-minute preview or whatever? And then mm -hmm. suddenly... Yeah, showcase. And then suddenly showcase. Pete was excited, <laughs> and me and Kieran were like, F this game. And yet you still played it. And then it came out. And it only got worse. It. I tried. And the thing is, I am an un... Like, I don't hide. I am a Bethesda fangirl. I'm actually an Obsidian <laughs> fangirl. But we'll say mm -hmm. Bethesda, too. I'm an unashamed Bethesda fangirl. And I love space. Anything having to do mm -hmm. with space. A dog fights, space travel, anything like that. I freaking love it. I wrote a sci-fi book. That's available on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> it's won an award. You can find me. <laughs> it's called No Shade for Travelers. You can find it at any bookstore, actually. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> my point being, I wanted Starfield to be good. I wanted with all of my heart for it yeah, to be for good. For you, it would have been the optimal combination. But yes. alas, it was it just the opposite. It was terrible. I've tried twice. I have tried twice. Right. Honestly, I've given I, it I gave good... it the college try at five hours and then no. No, I did as I well. Even... It just no. Yeah. No. It's just not for me. I do know people who absolutely love and adore it. Yeah. So there is an audience out Ooh. there. It's just cool. not me. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Well, you have to go to Redfall to compare and say stuff. It is great in comparison. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, That's no. bad. That's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's annoying because I actually was interested oh. in Redfall and then woof. Yeah, we again. All three of us were at the time. Uh, yeah, because we, we thought we were probably going to play it together. Yeah, and then it came out and it was crap. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry to those Starfield fans pain. who care about shared space, but no, I, I don't care about shared space. It's a waste of space. Sorry. Ah! Um... Boo, get off. Wait, wait, you guys can't hear it, but our, our audience can hear. I just did. But I'm tiff. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Cool. Right. Uh, fan, any fans of MOBAs here? Anyone like MOBAs? Not anymore. Used okay. to be, but not anymore. Okay, now. Marvel Rivals, December 6th. Revealed Cap I'm and Bucky. So... Mm -hmm. I'm so in. Oh, gosh. 
I am so into just being by myself and playing by myself. <laughs> okay, cool. I was gonna say playing with myself. <laughs> okay, well this Kylie one might likes be for me. <laughs> I do. Well, this one might be for Kylie, then it might be for a bit of everyone then, because the next up Ooh. wasn't a game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like. It so Back this is a tease for Amazon's new video game themed anthology TV show from the creators behind Love and Robots. So Secret Level looks to be a mashup of um, every big game from the umpteen years. So it's it's got several different properties included with it. I think Halo was one. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember God what else. War, God of War. Mega Man. Mega Man. And mm -hmm. yeah, there was yeah. several in there. I think it's how many episodes was it? It's like fifteen episodes, hmm. I think. Possibly. Uh, that could be one per game, basically. Yep. Uh, and it's thought? coming out to Amazon Prime Video on the 11th of chance. December. Mm -hmm. uh, the go could, be, the could be good. It could, could be. be interesting. Um, so the person who came out and presented it was very, um, very emotional about the fact that they've taken years to make this and oh, was dear. very passionate. And yeah, they got probably the biggest pop from the entire evening. I can okay. see it being a bit like a Black Mirror kind of thing. So, you know, each Possibly. episode is going to be its own thing. It will be. It's more than likely it's going to, you know, have its own Possibly, contained yeah. self-universe. And, you know, that's it. Who knows? It might be the last episode merges them all together. Hmm. Yay. Oh, um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that because th there's been so many that do exactly that, isn't there? So many like yes, series. Yes, it was called What If Season together. One and Two, and they were crap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh boy. Uh, well, but if you want to listen to more about that, um, never watches. <laughs> he got a plug. See, see, it's not just me. Pete gets to do self promotion too. Yeah, but I, I limit them to like once a show. Yeah, I don't limit nothing. <laughs> he plugs, it, like, he plugs mm -hmm. it once to every 10 that you plug. I was going to say, I plug everything, and then I realized that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> no. Right, let's. Oh, it was so bad. You made it. It might, might destroy his camera. So, uh, next up, we had Age of Mythology Retold. Um, okay. Fourth coming out soon. 4th of September on Game Pass. Nice. So cool. Mm -hmm. Fine. Uh, next up was the gameplay trailer for Towerborn. So this is mm -hmm. a Steam Early Access. It had a Steam Early Access release date, which is 10th of September. So very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Uh, next mm -hmm. up was Delta Force Hawk Ops. I actually don't remember anything about this game. I don't either. <laughs> no, but it's coming to early access on Steam. Uh, it's going to have a demo on Steam Next Fest in October. Mm -hmm. So, always probably worth a try there. Um, so, some news that I'm not sure why they include this, considering that the release date was literally changed a few days before the show. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 had a new trailer, and right. it's launching mm -hmm. February 11th, 2025. So, they've by now, they've had a full gameplay premiere, which was the 21st of August. I didn't watch mm -hmm. it, because I forgot about it. <laughs> that mm. happens. I mean, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 looked interesting at Summer Games Fest. Uh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. I'll play it, but I'll, I might give it a try, because Game Pass, maybe. Have you played the first? No. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, <laughs> next up, uh, Zenless Zone Zero. Yeah, so, and the other MiHoYo that, games. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> strap in for MiHoYo verse uh, moments. So, Zenless Zone mm -hmm. Zero, second out. So, uh, gave us uh, next update date and uh, new Eridu, which is a new area. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Sorry, don't know. Can't really talk much about that. Never played it. <laughs> Uh, it's really popular on Twitch. I know. It I is, thought yeah. about playing it to get more followers, mm -hmm. and then I thought, yeah. no, even I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. 
And the then... bar can only get so low, <laughs> Kylie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I can only do so much. And that was a little too much. Yep. Next up, <laughs> uh, so next up, Honkai Star Rail. So they've got a new character That's coming to the one. game and a collaboration <laughs> with uh, Fate Stay Night, which is coming next yep. year. So, uh, okay. Um, next up, Batman Arkham Shadow. Ah, uh, yes. Why is this Speaking game limiting Metal your Christ audience? Only? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Obviously, it has have to do a VR game. And actually, I actually don't think this looks very interesting either. Annoyingly. Mm. Yeah. All right, it yeah. looks so simplistic and so stupid, to be honest. It just looks like a dumbed down Arkham ver like Arkham well, like VR. Like and that was particularly stripped back and dumbed down already. Yes. Mm. Anyway. It's true. And who the yeah. f who the fuck is a crap crap about the Rat King? Really? Well you know why The Rat King. I like the Rat King that's in Rat King that's in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like that Rat King. Ah. <laughs> 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 just just to throw that out there I like him, he's cool okay fine I wonder which copied which <laughs> anyway next up this is the reason why I skipped over it Little Nightmares 3 yes uh, this is also going to be coming I believe it's coming to Netflix games isn't it as well goodness but I believe mm. they did state that um, the first two are coming to Netflix at some point as well in the next couple of months yeah, okay, okay, let's 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 just talk about this. I have to talk about this. I don't understand Netflix games. I played a game that was a Netflix game, but it's on my iPad. Mm -hmm. And I got it in the iOS store. And it was okay. It was um it was like a city builder type game. I can't remember what it's called. It was okay. I don't understand. Are these games like do you play them on Netflix? Is it like Amazon and the stupid Amazon stupid dumb controller so, that i can't remember what it's no called. so what you do is you go onto your netflix account and actually it prompts you to download a version of the game basically to your device um and then you can play it so i haven't played many any games on it but i did download paper trail on it and was going to play it but do you um, play it on your like so channel changer no, so if you've obviously got Netflix on your phone or your yeah. tablet, then you can oh, it basically it. downloads a separate version via an app and then ah. verifies Netflix through it. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, I've said this many times, I did the whole Amazon Luna thing. Mm -hmm. I tried to play Arkham Asylum. I, I think that was the streaming yeah. service, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was terrible. Terrible. Yeah, mm. so it's not streaming technically. It's just that mm. you can download the games through the subscription. Right, mm. but you can also download them through the Apple Store. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's weird yeah. to me. Yeah, and in regards to Little Nightmares and Netflix, I think you're confusing this one with Monument Valley. Okay. Because there they said the one and two is also coming to Netflix. I stand uh, correct. This one is coming to your usual platforms: PS5, yeah, okay. PS4, I knew Switch, there was... and Xbox, okay. and PC Digital. Yeah, apologies. I knew there was a game that was have that. I thought it was Little Nightmares, which is a shame because mm -hmm. I would play one and two if they're on Netflix. Yeah. Anyway, right next up, Hurdling. Uh, this mm. is from the creators of Far Lone Sales, coming in twenty twenty five. Oh goodness, twenty twenty five. Can't oh, really goodness. say anything about that. Mm. I that's Never. so far away. Anyway, Kylie, let's move to this yeah. because okay, that's one that was kind of interesting. <laughs> no. So, they. So, you may remember Horde. Anyway. Anyway, um, mm. next up. Or Journeyman was no, a um, was a guest that was came onto the stage, mm -hmm. and a name that we have mm. not heard in the video games industry for quite a while, and for, probably for right reasons. Uh huh. Peter Molyneux. Oh um, my goodness! Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, Masters the of Albion. Promiser. Under deliverer. And he even memed on that, Peter said that he was not going to over deliver anything and just show the never game. Over, he's never over delivered. He is no, over -promised. he's not over promised, sorry. He was not going to over promise anything. Yeah. So he revealed uh, Masters of Albion, which looks very early in uh, development. 
So it probably yep. is due out. It didn't give a release date for it, but just showed stuff. So apparently yeah. he's got and some has a wishlist page on Steam. Yeah, has ex developers from Fable, Black and White, and Dungeon Keeper, and looks like a bit of a mishmash between all of those properties. The fact yeah. that they've called it Which Masters of honestly? Albion is a bit weird. Yes, because uh, for people who don't know, Albion is the town in uh, Fable. Fable. Um, yeah, but uh, Albion is also an old name for England. It is. That it's is true. Correct. That was. Yes, that is Which very I true. think was more likely the reference. It probably is, yes. So, um... Yes. I... I... Oh. Honestly, in comparison, this didn't look half bad. No, no I was actually just about to say, annoyingly, this actually looks kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, it's he, got an interesting he really, concept. Yeah. He has he, good ideas. It's the mm -hmm. execution. I want to see the execution yeah. of it. Okay, yeah, definitely. It but so, did you but see he this? definitely has learned from his past failures. I think so, yeah. The, the past fact, few. The fact he is, he came away from mobile, finally. Yeah. That's the oh thing, is he God. came out and he said, oh, I was doing things on mobile. Why? Yeah. What yeah, the was, hell was yeah. I doing? Yeah. I, I <laughs> was early adop adapter to some of his betas that were on mobile. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christ. Mm -hmm. They were awful. Yeah. They were awful, yeah. and I couldn't mm -hmm. understand like what was he trying to accomplish? Because I can never figure Nothing. out what the frick he's they trying to do. They were probably just trying to adapt to mobile <laughs> somehow, but they couldn't wrap their heads around it. Yeah, I think that is definitely it. Um, I did get hooked on his latest one. I don't remember what it's called now. Uh, but then after a while, it was kind of like this is very samey. There's nothing. There's nothing happening mm. here, you know. That the type Goddess of thing. Wars one, or uh, no, no, that was the the first, the the one before the last one. I just can't remember what the last one. Mm -hmm. called. Mm. Um, they did something after that, okay? Yeah, anyway. um, but and it, and and it wasn't terrible. Don't get me wrong, because okay. I, I did, I got addicted to it, which is what you know he's attempting to oh. do. But it uh -huh. didn't, it didn't have like it, 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 it was so, it was just the same, you know. There was mm -hmm. no, you know. Um, so I've always kind of secretly kind of wished for him to do well. Okay. <laughs> I don't know so, why, but I've always wanted him. I think him. he but has that kind of good. personality. He does, and his mm. ideas are good, but his execution is terrible. Yep. Terrible. Mm. So, uh, did you crossed. by any chance see uh, this? I caught a, 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 a highlight of it. Okay. Cause and that's this... why I'm like... Looks interesting, obviously, because it's the mm -hmm. whole god mode thing, but then you can actually take your character third person and control them to some degree. I thought it looked... Must have some of the humor in it as yeah. well, which is That's nice. Insane. Yeah, it's got good <laughs> Like the bread sword. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike Rusty Shackleford, as I call him. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, let's move on. I am on Peter Namolino's I wish for him to succeed. I just get disappointed every single time. Mm. Uh, but I still hang with him. Still there. Like, You're gonna make it one day. One day. Hang on in there. One day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway, speaking of things yeah. that probably won't last very long, uh, Squid Game Unleashed. Coming oh, to Netflix goodness. Games. Next. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, next up, Unknown 9 Awakening had a live action trailer. October eighteenth hmm. for this. Yeah. Moving on, uh, Arena Breakout Infinite. Um, don't remember anything about this one. I think I was fading fast at this point. Yeah, I don't remember um, at all. <laughs> uh, CD, you can probably talk about this one a little bit more. Diablo Four: Vessel of Hatred. Yeah, they hey. did show the mercenaries. They are making a comeback from the previous Diablos, which is a good idea, definitely. Um, so that's it. That's I don't think everyone. they showed much. Mm. Oh. What have you done? Nothing, it's fine now. Checking uh, the Twitch uh, again. Leave the YouTube uh -huh. views alone. Yeah. No, it wasn't, it wasn't this time. Uh, okay, just shortly. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, next up, we had the first Berserker uh, Kazan. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is an anime infused hack and slash. Uh, and I do like hack and slash. Yeah. So there's a technical closed beta coming between the 11th and 20th of October this year. So, okay. Uh, Aria History Untold. Um, ah, so yeah. Another, another yeah. Civ-like. 
<laughs> yep, so this is yeah. coming 24th of September. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark and Darker Mobile. I don't remember this. Mobile, be shown. No, Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, right, Floatopia. Floatopia. That's a terrible name. 2025. <laughs> right, last two games. Last two games, we're there. We got there. Okay. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I can't wait. Also, I finished my Prosecco. So they revealed um, more stuff. This was essentially... Uh, it's bloody... Oh, it's Get Troy the camera. So it's, so it's, <laughs> no, so it's Troy Baker narrating over this, talking about the game and how his love of Indiana Jones and how great it's going to be to move around as Indiana Jones. Although it's still ridiculous that it's done in first person. I, I don't get why, I but know. hey, I understand the stylistic I, choice behind it by Machine Games. But the thing is, like, don't get me wrong. I think it does look good. I think mm -hmm. it's a good story. Oh, I'm going to play thing... it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm absolutely going to play it. The thing that kind of is a drawback, I guess, mm. or is a minus, is for whatever reason, whenever they show gameplay or anything about this, they don't show Indy doing witty one-liners, which really throws me off mm. because that's his whole character. Yeah, but maybe they're I saving freaking love. Maybe, but I freaking I mean, love. Is it kind of have a bit of that in the pre in the cutscene mm. one where they? I think they the did, TV, yeah. I think. A little, little bit, bit, but it wasn't but that like. No, I'm expecting know. more witty yeah, one more as after the combat and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I want the I humor really, to be really good. hope it's gonna be good. I really, really That's hope it's hope. gonna be good. I, in twenty I years' it. time, somebody will turn around and say this belongs in a museum. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> uh, it belongs in a museum! Yes! Yeah. Yes, my right. Yes. Let's address... And since it's machine games, I'm not surprised it's first person. But let's address <laughs> the elephant in the room. The release uh, date. Where? What? There were two uh -huh. release dates for this. Yep. So, yeah. 9th of December 2024 for Xbox and PC. See? Spring 2025 right. for PS5. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, essentially a three to six exclusive, month exclusivity period. Yes. No. Um, I think that's fair. I, think I fair. don't think this is Xbox's would, decision. Because you got an Xbox. <laughs> no, I don't You're think this right. is. I don't think this is Xbox's decision. I think this is solely on Lucas Art or Lucas Film. Uh, they want it to more platforms, but. The fact is, is that earlier on in the year we had uh, Phil Spencer saying that Indiana Jones will not be going to PS5 and has now U-turned completely on that. So he has wow. essentially lied to the investors and to the consumers. I Phil mean, maybe Spencer is walking a tightrope here. Maybe at the time it was still that. Yeah, it's, it's very I possible. It wasn't necessarily a lie. It wasn't a lie, necessarily. That's true. Mm, it's rampant speculation. It was outdated info. <laughs> yeah, but you'd have to. I know. Okay, fine. The autopsy report lie was updated. Different. <laughs> yeah, can I please have that? I mean, a lot has happened report. within the last six months or a year. You know what I mean? I mean, <sighs> yeah, but I, the, studios the fact... have been shutting down. People have been let go. Times are hard for Phil Spencer, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the fact is that they would have had to Father have been Phil. developing this for a long time on PS5. They were. So they have been. They, they've clearly known that it was going to come to PS5. And they did. what they probably could have said was gone, we have no plans at I'm present. Not sure, I'm not sure if porting the game to PS5 is that... It, maybe that not as time. much. Uh -huh. as it, really. See, I, I would assume that it was, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact is that the boxes probably are similar these days on the x86 architecture. So it's... It's possible that it's and not it's, necessarily the case. And I think Machine Games has enough uh, enough experience to not n take that amount of time for <clears> it. You might be right there, but I think it still is a little bit of a weird one because I think a lot of people have been talking about the potential that the game could come out potentially buggy to start on the Xbox, which is the, I, the platform, and then by the time the PS5 version comes out, they get a more complete version of the game i mean it's gonna be more patched up that's for sure yeah given and it's only a roundabout uh 
uh, time frame with spring. So yeah, so that's why I don't said know between... when exactly it come out. It might be end of spring, just uh, just yeah, short which of is, summer or something. Which is why I prefaced it by saying three mm -hmm. to six months. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a window, obviously, but yeah, it's. Mm. This was rumoured or very heavily leaked before the fact mm -hmm. that it was coming to PS5. So when Jeff did the, oh, the one more thing from Machine Games, nobody was surprised. Yeah. At all. Poor Jeff. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> I, I mean, it. there's a, I mean, there's a reason why Jeff is many things, but with he's the Borderlands not one. one. This one hasn't leaked. <laughs> oh, he said that as well, and it's like, yeah, but Randy Pitchford has talked this up so much. <laughs> but anyway, to a game that I don't think I was you, leaked and I show. didn't know about, um, Mafia, the old country, was the final game revealed and not really revealed as such. Just a cinematic. Yeah. yeah that... I mean, the usual when you have a teaser reveal. Yeah. yeah. Of course, but they had um, President of Hangar 13 come out and talk about their their love of mafia and obviously the fact that they're going back mafia. to the nine the early 1900s with this mm -hmm. and the start of the very start of the series and it's set in little italy so you know mm. i see that cool. yeah yeah so when, it could be interesting i think my first game i ever streamed for rapid reviews was mafia i think Three, it was the remake yeah, mm -hmm. um, I was so nervous, but uh, but I absolutely adore Mafia. I love all the Mafia games. Uh, mm -hmm. So this, I'm actually quite... I, I say I love all the Mafia games. That's not true. They did a Mafia game, and I think it's Mafia 4, that is set in, like, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, that was weird. <laughs> it was just a strange yeah. game. Which is why I think uh, they've opted to obviously go the prequel route and go yeah. back to the beginning to some degree. Yeah, because I think it was set in like the 60s or something, and I just couldn't. It just that felt was probably weird. Matthew Fruit 3, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It just felt weird. Uh, mm. So. That was the first one that my, uh, Hangar 13 did. I yeah. think that's correct, yes. Right. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to hear this. I, I like yeah. this. New Bordeaux based on New Orleans yeah. in 1960. Mm. Yeah, it was just. The accents were weird because I'm from very close <laughs> to that area, so the accents were weird. The story was weird. It just mm -hmm. felt it did not feel like a mafia game to me, sure. to me personally. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm happy to hear that it will be. It did also it, it, not get the best ratings. Yeah, I didn't like yeah. it. <laughs> right, that's the show. Well, so... as they say, it's water under the bridge now, so uh, ah! forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> and if you don't, we'll make you an offer you can't. Uh... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look what they did. We've got some horse life. heads lying around uh... here, I'm sure. Uh, I've got some I nice uh, concrete not, not any for horse... you. They're just your price. I have said before on this show about two years ago how much I absolutely love The Godfather 1 and 2. Godfather <laughs> 3 can go fuck itself. <laughs> We're doing a no, I don't care. <laughs> me, me, you, and CD of all cast. This is going out okay. explicit. It's fine. <laughs> so I said that I love Godfather 1 and 2. And Pete and Kieran were like, I've never seen it. I don't even care about it. It's uh, screw, uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I have seen Godfather 1 and 2. Thank you very much. Uh, they are institutions it, in my house, in my, my parents' I house. Thank you. I freaking love it. I absolutely adore it. And that's why I love Mafia. Now, I know there are Godfather games. Um, mm -hmm. And they're good. Don't Such get me wrong. Such as The Godfather on PS2. Exactly. Uh, but Mafia 1, 2, and I think 3. Um, they to me are just I don't know I just freaking love mobsters and gangsters I just do why lie I love Peaky Blinders too <laughs> okay <laughs> so... right let's wrap this show up guns please. and blood why would we guns and yeah. blood guns and blood <laughs> <laughs> yes Pete go ahead. let's wrap this show up that's the games that is everything so I'm going to go around the room and give you ratings and what you thought of this show so I'll start with CD what did you think? Hmm. Yeah. Not that many big things for me. So it was all right. Yeah. Mike? I thought this show was brilliant. 
the obviously the Gamescom opening night live, maybe not so much, <laughs> but this show here, rugby producers. I knew what you were doing there. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Yes! All right, Always right. got your back. Yeah. Kylie, well, um, as you didn't watch well, this, give give her a rating on based on what uh, what we've talked about. Jeff Sheely gets a ten because <laughs> I love yeah. him. Um, but I actually thought it was a good show, so I would say seven because seven is, for me is okay, uh, slightly above average. Um, so it gets worse. seven Doritos out of Mountain Dew for <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> yeah, seven Doritos, Pops. <laughs> yes! But Jeff Sheely gets a tit. I like to call him that. <laughs> Pete, Pete's ruined it for me forever. <laughs> Jeff Sheely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, Pete, what did you think? Hey, your thoughts? Uh, this was... Uh... <laughs> This for me, I probably would agree with CD. Probably not a lot really for mis- myself, but wasn't the worst show in the world because they showed exactly. some pretty di- pretty all right stuff that's going to appeal to quite a few mm-hmm. people. Fine. I think we have to sort yep. of understand that these are not tailored to just yourself. They're tailored to as many people as yeah. possible. Yeah, and so, in comparison to the other two, his other two shows, this yeah. is the smallest one. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree. And, and it, it wasn't the most, it wasn't the worst, because at least he actually had a half-decent co-host as well. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, 7 out of 10. Wait, he actually had a co-host? Yes, he did. It wasn't just his yeah, ego? And, uh, it was an, an ex-Unreal um, uh, Tournament player as well, which got mm-hmm. a good thumbs up from me. Good old UT. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. Cool. And not to it's get okay. political, but in the current climate, her last name is kind of uh, ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was it? What's, what's the name? Deportere. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, yes, the exact are... writing I put in chat. We are yeah, yeah. in the Discord oh, chat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was never going to. I just it. found it funny when I read that. <laughs> yep. Um, but uh, yes, Pete, do we want to say where everybody can find everybody? Well, let's start with a guess. You know. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> That's you your job that. as a host. Oh, that's my job. Oops. Uh, yes, I have one job. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I have one job on this ship. I freaking love that. The only anyway. job that you have is at the moment is now shameless self-promotion, and it's not that's even what shameless. I'm for. <laughs> oh, what's there? No the shame. iceberg. <laughs> yes, I just said, have you met me? I have zero shame. Uh, yes. CD, where else can they find you out in the world? Well, once the show goes back on, uh, at the turn-based cynics with Russo Basso, and generally on social media on Twitter slash X um, with the username called Death. Whoop, whoop. Mike, <sighs> Prosecco's coming back on bottom. <laughs> it's alright, I'll let you catch your breath first, love. It's yes, okay. thank you. <laughs> it's the bubbles. <laughs> They're very tickling. Uh, <laughs> Mike! Where can we find you out there in Never Neverland? Woo! Uh, well, definitely not at the ranch. Never there. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, wait. You mean, yeah. Okay, got you now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Woo! Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, you can find me uh, over at x slash Twitter slash x slash social media slash whatever <laughs> Mr. Musk wants to call it next um, at yeah. MikeTender64. Well, MikeTender64, yes. Uh, then we have our website for all our news, reviews, interviews, and so much more. That is <coughs> www. Ugh, getting caught now, and I haven't even had a drop of a second. <laughs> www.miketendo64.com. We've also started up a new podcast as well, seeing as we're plugging absolutely everything. Why not? Let's go for it. We've started up a new podcast. It's Game and Chat. Um, we are still using our own podcast. Uh, YouTube channel at Mike Tendo 64 but we're also on Spotify now where we release episodes weekly. And, uh, yeah, please be sure to check that out. That's also at Mike Tendo 64 So, yeah, check yeah. it out. Check out all our stuff if you can. Much do, appreciated. Do need to have words with you about that, Mike. You're treading on eye toes now on a Monday. 
Uh, I was on a Monday. You were Sunday. Behave. <laughs> no, we released the audio on Mondays. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it's fine. It's not live. I don't tread on your live stuff. It's just the pre-recording. Okay. Which people can listen to and at thank any you. time. I'm going to be on there one day, one day when I answer my one day. <laughs> No, it's fine, Mike. I sent, I, I sent you a message about that. Messages. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Yes, Pete, what about you? Where can they find you? Uh, I'm manning the Rapid Reviews Twitter, X, whatever yeah, you want to call it, I nonsense. Um, uh, okay. Our radio pod. Um, I don't advertise it enough, but we are on Blue Sky as well. I can't remember oh, what we're that's, on there. Well, I so. forgot that existed. Exactly. It's so does everyone sky. else. Most people did. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why I don't advertise it because it's easy. It's crap. I need to start adding that to my repertoire. No. It's called Blue Sky because there's nothing there, not even cloud. <laughs> yes. No, not a single cloud. Not, not even yeah. a bird. No. Anyway, <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing in the sky. I'll probably nothing. post the link to that in the description. But other than that, I'm on the Never Watchers podcast with uh, my friend Kurt, who we cover films and TV, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and others. But uh, yeah, we should be back again pretty soon with a new episode. But we're not sure how we're going to try and poll that one, considering the Never Watchers Twitter account got taken down for no reason. Did it really? Yeah, it does, no, it exists, but we can't log into it. it. So it's yeah, that's weird. Yeah, we oh, can't, can't like, even Kurt can't reset log your into password it. or anything like that. Apparently, the account doesn't exist for us to do that. So yeah, don't oh, know. that's weird. Yeah, so we might have to create a new one. But he has a uh, he has opted Aww. to never touching Twitter again. So mm. fair. Oh, well. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't blame him. But anyway, yeah, we'll try and get that out somehow. It might be via the various Discord channels that we are in, such as Rapid Reviews and Neville, uh, the Modern Escapism and such. So, Kylie, where can they find you? My Time turn. for 10 minutes of shameless promo no, it's promotion. No, promotion. my turn. <laughs> well, yeah, get comfortable. Checks what? <laughs> uh, checks notes, um, yeah. You can find me, actually, in about half an hour over on the at twitch.tv forward slash K-I-L-A-Y underscore W-I-L-D-E. I would love to see you there. Uh, I do stream, not even a joke, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, from 7 to about 8.30. I never quite make it to 8.30. I have ADHD. I don't have the patience to stream that long. <laughs> and then sometimes I stream on the other day. Because I'm lonely and I don't have friends, so I stream. Um, so come check me out there for sure. And honestly, if you just put Kylie Wilde into Google, you will find all of my everything ever. Because uh, because I I'm I'm really well known on TikTok and YouTube. Come find me there. And coming soon to OnlyFans, <laughs> <laughs> where I show OnlyFans. <laughs> Your stuff is not difficult to find. It's just one chair fall away. <laughs> yeah, go check out my shorts. Apparently, off on the rapid reviews <laughs> YouTube page, where I'm falling out of my chair. Uh, yes, uh, and I am. I am uh, on YouTube quite a lot, actually. I literally. I look. Let me just be honest. I just started. You, mean you I, haven't been honest? I, I, yeah, I know. I guess not. <laughs> uh, I literally just started this adventure about four weeks ago. I didn't know that people were going to think that I'm cool and start watching me. So that's new. Uh, if you want to join me, this is not a joke. Thousands of viewers. That's not a joke. On YouTube? Just type in Kylie Wild because apparently I'm really a big deal over there, which is insane <laughs> to me. Uh, what? I'm also on TikTok. I'm on X, but I'm not actually on X. That's just a little machine that like puts out my stuff to X. I don't go there. Um, and uh, wow, I just logged in and out of the chat. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> automatically. Uh, but I do stream. I would actually, in all honesty, if 
anyone would like to join me over on my stream. I am trying to get affiliate. I'm not there yet, which is insane to me. But I'm not there yet. I only have like 34 followers, money 50. So I would tell your friends. It's a pretty good, it's pretty good. I don't drink over there. I just play games. You should plug it to the thousands of viewers on YouTube, Kyle. I do. I have it. It's on there. <laughs> And I'm just like sitting here and YouTube's sending me these like, oh, new achievement today. You've reached 3,000 views on this video. And then I'm like, okay, but nobody comes and watches me on Twitch. Please come watch me. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> it's weird because Twitch is where I want the views and I yeah. don't have them on Twitch. So please. It's a monkey's paw, I'm afraid. I know. Everyone, TikTok, YouTube, they're doing great. Buy me Twitch viewers. Anyway, so there's my shameless plug that was probably about seven minutes long. So <laughs> my... six minutes, minutes longer than it should have been. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly that. Okay, so Peter's already zoned out. Oh no, he's, he's done. He's <laughs> no, I'm already, show. I'm already oh. working. <laughs> We're gonna end the podcast portion of the show. I keep burping because I've had prosecco and it's just mm -hmm. repeating on me. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Right. So we're gonna end the show portion, but we do like to do a little post show portion over on twitch.tv forward slash rabbit reviews, but also Kylie Wild. Uh, so I thank you so much for joining us. I <laughs> thanks so much to our guests who have joined us today. The show would not be possible without them because I drank an entire bottle of Prosecco. So, and, and the show would so should, and, and they actually talked about something other than their own Twitch stream. That too. <laughs> Come on, you know what's your favorite subject. Uh, <laughs> so, on behalf of everyone, we will see you and talk to you next week. Bye. The Sam event is coming. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Rapid Reviews Radio podcast. You can find the podcast on Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and various other podcast platforms. You can also find the video version by searching Rapid Reviews on YouTube and watch the podcast recording live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rapid reviews at 7.30pm UK time every Sunday. Please make sure to follow the podcast on Twitter at rrradiopod and for all the latest reviews visit www.rapidreviewsuk.com or on Twitter at rapidreviewsuk.com.